Is Blender crashing every time you open it? If so, you're in the right place because in this video, we'll be discussing how to fix it. So hang around. Hey guys, my name is Robert Shane. And on this channel, I give you solutions to your tech problems. I don't wanna waste any more of your time. So let's get into it. There might be several reasons why your copy of Blender won't open. I've scoured the internet for possible reasons. They're in no particular order and your actual reason might not even be on the list as there are several reasons why Blender might not open. So just know that I'm trying. Now, before we get into the possible reasons, let me show you how you can see the crash report from Blender. This will be useful because you can paste the crash report into Google and you might have more luck than trying some random tips in a YouTube video. Note that this only works on Windows. If you know how to do this on a Mac, let me know and I'll include it in a future video. First, go to the folder that contains the Blender executable file. On Windows, it's located in C, Program Files, Blender Foundation, and then you should see Blender followed by the version number. Next, hold down Shift and right click on the Blender folder to bring up the context menu. In the context menu, you'll see an option that says open PowerShell window here. My context menu will look a little different than yours, but it should be in there somewhere. Click on that and ignore it for the time being. Now go back to where you just were, double click into the Blender folder and try to open the blender.exe file. When it crashes, you'll see a log in the PowerShell window. This will give you the reason why it's crashing. I can't demo this since my version of Blender is working, but yours will if it's crashing. Copy and paste that in Google and you might be able to find a solution. If that doesn't work, you can try the rest of the things in this video. If you don't meet the minimum requirements, Blender won't open. In order to run Blender properly, you'll need at a minimum a 64-bit dual-core 2 gigahertz CPU with SSE2 support, 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 1280 by 768 display, a mouse, trackpad, or pen and tablet, a graphics card with one gigabyte of RAM, and OpenGL 3.31. If you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, it must be a GeForce 400 series or newer, or use the Quadro Tesla GPU architecture or newer. RTX cards will work. AMD users must use GCN first gen or newer, as the TerraScale 2 architecture has been depreciated and will no longer work. Intel's users must use Haswell architecture or newer. And finally, macOS users must use version 10.13 or newer. If you meet all of these requirements, then congratulations. This is more than likely not your issue. However, after doing some reading on developer.blender.org, I found that some people were having problems even if they met the minimum requirements. Apparently, Blender will crash even if you have GCN, first gen, and OpenGL 3.31, but won't crash on some of the TerraScale 2 cards. So understand, that just because you meet the minimum requirements doesn't mean Blender won't crash. And just because you don't meet the minimum requirements doesn't mean that Blender will crash. It just reduces the likelihood. Maybe this is obvious, but make sure you're using the newest version of Blender. A lot of these problems have already been solved, but they're in the newest version. If none of these worked, I read a post that said using an HDMI cable instead of a VGA cable solved the problem. So if you're using a VGA cable, see what you can do about switching over to an HDMI cable. I have no idea why some of these would even matter, but that's what people are reporting. So that's what I'm sharing with you guys. Another thing you can try is running Blender in compatibility mode for Windows 8. To do that, go back to the folder with the Blender executable file, right click, properties, compatibility, and check run this program in compatibility mode four. The user in the post said Windows 8, but you can try any of them if Windows 8 doesn't work. If nothing in this video worked, paste the output from the PowerShell into a comment on this video, and I'll see what I can do about finding you a solution. I can't make any promises though. Well guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped solve your problems. Have a good one and take care.